funny. I'm looking at your attire right here. You know, the wardrobe has definitely changed since the oh, retirement. I'm killing that, too. Um, that got the button that, down. and that point. I can't even show well, them. Let me show the shoes. I Let's can't see. show them, though. Don't, don't, don't show these. I get... Okay, all right. Or but they okay. killing that. You see the colors in that joint? Right? Is that suede and leather, or what is... Is that just all that? Yeah, now nah, that is a little suede on there. You got a good eye. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, got, I don't, I don't really dress the part, but I know it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I know in the record, what more can I say? You said a line that said, uh, "No more throwbacks." I'm 30 plus. Give me some crispy jeans and a button up, something to that yeah, effect, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And since then, let me get these pictures. I want to show you the effect that I think you've had on hip hop. You know, <laughs> we got a picture right here. Benny Siegel, Beans, right here. Yeah, Beans you know. looking sharp, too. Look at him. He you got know. his pole. That looks gangster. Yep, this is uh, Marion, young young guy, B2K. He got his hat tilted. He got, he, he got a... He, his shirt looks like the one you have on right now, and even it's Fabulous. Pretty, pretty close. Is now, a lot of people are starting to wear button-ups now. I mean, what what made you go in that direction? I mean, did you feel That's like... Just, this is my growth. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I, I, you got to figure, I was doing throwbacks. If y'all pull up... I can't get with that video. Mm -hmm. You know, that's one of my first video. I had the Reggie Miller on name the throwback, but you know, I was doing the Jersey thing and okay. I don't know what year that was. That might have been ninety two or something like that. Ninety two, ninety. Gotta pull up the I can't get with that video. Yeah, you know I got the catalog. Yeah, yeah, yeah show so. the uh Reggie Miller joint. So it's just my growth, man. Okay, we can't just, you know, stay in the same place, you know, mm -hmm. a bunch of numbers on our back. Well, you st they start looking crazy for a minute. Well, you you kind of you started that you were instrumental in starting that trend, and now it's a whole gentleman's movement that's starting now. Yeah, yeah, we gotta grow up. It's yeah. time, to, time to grow up. You gotta go in the offices and look presentable. Mm -hmm. Get a couple checks. All right, is you think that's what what's happening with hip hop now? It's starting to mature. Yeah, I, one thing for really though, I just don't want people to be afraid to grow up mm -hmm. in hip hop because that's that that'll destroy it. We can't just uh, go to uh, 24, 18, mm -hmm. and stop. You know what I'm saying? It, it has to be a level where we could grow where people that's 30 years old can listen to hip-hop because you still like hip-hop, but mm -hmm. you really just can't relate to the stuff people were saying. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's not true. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, so you can't feel it. When things not true and they just saying stuff. I mean, it's hot. Ooh, that was a hot line or mm -hmm. an ill metaphor, but I don't really feel it. Like the thing that happened with Pac and Big and artists like that, you feel they work. You mm -hmm. feel it. Like mm -hmm. you can listen to it. You get emotionally attached. This stuff, you just... And that's why it wears off so fast because you like it and then it's... It doesn't you know, stick. It doesn't stick because okay. there's no emotional attachment because they're not really being true to what they're talking about. Okay. But like I said, we, in, or, in order for hip-hop to keep going, we have to grow with it. Okay. So you it's know? realistic to be 30-plus in a dress like you're yeah. dressing now. Absolutely. All right. All yeah. right.